Hello, fabulous Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of December 2014. Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. As I touched on in the general focused horoscopes for this month, it is such an important month for you where it comes to matters of the heart. And of course, what is it that makes us aware of matters of the heart? most well it tends to be love and this is a very important month in love for you we have got a few key things taking place that i think are going to speak volumes to your experience but mainly it is the fact that there is a full moon taking place in your sign i did touch on this last month as well but this is the month when it actually happens in the early part of the month and this is you being really honest with yourself about who you really are but more importantly what you need to feel cared for and if you feel that you're not getting it exactly where you are right now this is your chance to be honest with yourself in that regard this is your chance to look at that and say to yourself that okay if i'm not getting it here how can i get what ultimately i need to feel emotionally fulfilled that's what comes into focus at a full at, at a full moon taking place in your sign but what's really great about this particular full moon that i'd love for you is the fact that it is speaking in harmony with uranus now to me this suggests um surprises of course um but more than that it's about an awakening taking place for you where you understand who you are differently and that understanding in turn empowers you to make some really positive changes to move yourself in some very positive directions as well when I move when I see this particular full moon playing out now I do want to say here's the thing with full moons taking place in your sign that I think are so important and this is just you know so pronounced for me to share with you and it's this idea of ownership and it's this idea of being honest with you in fact all of us in some way in at least one area of life are going to be asked to be deeply honest with ourselves and for you that personal honesty comes yes with this full moon but also in the later part of the month it comes where it comes to you being honest about maybe some of the barriers that have been there to love but also you know i look at this vibration playing out and it looks more like if there have been any ways conscious or otherwise that you've been um you know i i don't want it to sound frivolous because i'm not saying that it is but there's an element here of maybe playing games or rationalizing almost as if you've been moving uh, pieces around on a chessboard instead of actually addressing the issues at their core if there's been any of that taking place especially for those of you in an established bond this is you getting really honest with yourself about where it is that maybe you've been doing some of that and even if it's been slight even if it hasn't been noticed by anybody else you know if you've been in that position and this is your chance to say to yourself okay why why have i been playing these uh, particular games or why have been why have i been sort of mentally moving pieces around in my mind thinking it's going to get me a certain result with my partner when actually a much more direct approach as scary as it might be is ultimately what a, is a more enlightened approach a more enlightened way to deal with where you are right now in the context of your bond so we've got that playing out especially for those of you in an established bond for those of you who are um, dating somebody i do think that um, the energy this month because of the very strong focus on you but there's also a very social focus as well with this full moon which suggests to me that it's really just about enjoying this person's company getting to know them a little bit more considering where it is that um, ultimately what they hope for in their life is in alignment with you i think about this idea of how with the air signs in particular um there's an element there of falling in love with your best friend and that very well might be a situation that takes place now where you feel like you're looking at this person and saying could you be my best friend could you be somebody whose company i really enjoy who i love being around uh, who i laugh with and if so that's going to fortify that bond that much more 
But if you really are with somebody who is not along those lines, where you don't feel like this is somebody you can really talk to and really share with, especially on a level of mind, this is you getting honest with yourself about that and making a change as a result. For those of you open to love, I do think that, um, as I said, you falling in love with your friend is possible this month. And it is very possible that you might um, find yourself having romantic feelings for someone that you're friends with or in a social situation being introduced to somebody very spontaneously where it ends up feeling like there's something more um, just under the surface, some more like f whether it's flirtation or attraction. Ultimately, it's very much about mind and what's happening on a level of mind as well. So it looks like there's a very sort of natural kind of fun connection happening here. The thing with the full moon, and as I started saying earlier as well, there's an element of taking ownership for this energy. And, you know, I'm very much of the belief, and I talk about this a lot, especially in the weekly horoscopes where I get a little bit more philosophical, and especially in the introductions where I answer some questions at times, FAQs and things like that. The sky is there ultimately to support us, to encourage us, to help us to become more of whatever it is that is the highest vision of what it is that we can be. But there's an element there of taking ownership that has to take place as well. And especially when it's a full moon in your sign, that's a huge part of what it comes down to is how honest are you willing to be with yourself and how much are you willing to support that honesty with action? The universe is going to try very hard to get you in touch with matters of heart, to get you in touch with your emotions, get you in touch with your desires to uh, connect with others, to have friendly connections, to feel understood on a level of heart, on a level of spirit as well. It's going to be up to you to decide how you're going to work with this energy. The best way you can do that is if you are invited to go anywhere, go. Because the chance of you having a really good time and understanding yourself, and especially understanding yourself in the context of love, if you're with somebody, enjoying their company so much more, if you're not with somebody, meeting somebody new, all of that becomes that much more likely if you put yourself in a position to make it much more likely as well. One thing is for sure though, a full moon in your sign is all about you being honest with yourself, honest about what you really need. When you get honest about what you really need and you have that clarity, you'll find that the universe has a much easier way and a much easier time of delivering it to you.